Alrighty, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Episode four of To Your Eternity. Um, we met a couple of new characters. Uh, one is very interesting. One is uh the male version of the bitch that killed everyone that we love in the very start of the first season. So I don't know how to feel. And he fell in love with the girl version, with one of the people that um her ancestor killed. So I don't really know, or his ancestor killed. So I don't know how to feel about that. But hopefully the purple guy actually ends up being decent. Like I'm sure he with what he said how he acts and the actions that he takes besides his crazy words here and there seems like he's someone that we could potentially trust i hope i'm not wrong and i look like a fool but if i am then i'll take it <laughs> this is fine oh yeah and i want to know what happens to the knocker in his hand in that shoulder or arm, whatever it is. Wanna know what happens to that knocker? Does it become does it help us now? Alright, Bon. What's Bon gonna be like? Gonna skip the intro real quick. Copyright reasons. You boy getting hit with it. Don't matter though. Let's get into it. The best Bond Award. <laughs> the man himself captured the immortal. <laughs> He's steamier than ever. I don't think anyone should ever be called steamy. <laughs> That's huge. Was she actually agreeing to stay? Or Bon? <laughs> Seriously? What? Uh, how should I feel about it? Oh. Bones, uh. Seriously? You're leaving? Wouldn't that make you public enemy number one, too? <laughs> Bennett, who? Bon, yeah. That kind of goes against that, yeah. Whoa. I don't know how that's going to carry over. It's going to be pretty crazy. The backlash. You could just make a bed. But she really, really cares about people and doesn't want them to get affected. Serious? You can make one, right?
Wow. Nope. He's limited by inanimate. Just building a house brick by brick. True. She freedom. <laughs> Mr. Black. Freedom? Well, he's our creator. Fushi can never. He could barely. Uh, he could barely keep up with the death of a friend, let alone a, a lover. Gosh, that would that would tear him apart. <laughs> he just takes the crab. <laughs> Present a horse? Oh shoot. Damn you people are so nice. And he'll dead you. Okay. I guess that's your friend. <laughs> Bone. His handkerchief. <laughs> no, no. Clean him up. Clean him up, dude. Clean him up. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Clean him up. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know if I could ever use the rag again, but I appreciate the sentiment in picking it up. <laughs> oh shoot, you are? Todo. Bon and Todo. Damn. That's respectable.
What was that? What is that? Oh. That little blob was affection. Huh. He can detect it. Damn! <laughs> How forward of you, Kahaku. <laughs> Very forward of him. Especially in this time era. Is he... I'm guessing this is not modern time, so. That's how you're gonna ride the horse. I mean, riding is riding, right? <laughs> Gets the job done. Here we go. Damn, they got a lot of people on standby. It's a full blown expedition, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it don't even got to be genuine at first. You could just fake it for she. Just, you know, just uh, turn that thing up, man. It'll turn real sooner or later. Oh, that's how they're framing it. His quest for freedom. <laughs> Such a valiant quest that Bon has joined him. Oh shoot, it's the weird church. It's the dodgy church. He pissed. He don't look happy at all. We have a full squad, a full army on our expedition. This is great. I mean, we're going to lose a lot for sure. But uh, good to know it's not just four of us. You can. What does the future hold for Bon? So that's how you grew attached to Fushi. He was like a folk tale. Finn. Wait. Now that I look at the outline, these aren't real, are they? He 
he uh, he can see. Is she real? <laughs> what? What are you doing? What are they doing? What are you doing to him? doctors so oh my gosh they literally blood let him is it all in his head I know the I know the I know the kitchen dweller, the one who sings him to sleep or talks to him to sleep. But the handkerchief. She might be real. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Tonari? He can see dead people, dude. Tonari's been the MVP of this season, dude. He's really been the MVP. Even post-death, she's helping Fushi in her own way. <laughs> I 
It's because he connected with the people more. Oh God, don't resent your brother, Bon. Any soft fishy? Maybe your maybe your purpose isn't for the king. Maybe your brother's supposed to be the king, but he might have another purpose. Something closer in relation to Fushi. So that's who he sees. It's a specific bird. <laughs> oh, whoa. That's a big ass shadow. It's the bear. It's the bear from the first season. That's who he sees. Fushi. <laughs> Everyone, everyone that we met along the way follows us, dude, dude. Oh my gosh, that's like heartbreaking, but it warms my heart at the same time. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they follow us the whole way through. Oh gosh, all right. Um, Bon has a very, very significant power. One that uh, he might, that could help us communicate better with the people and, and help give closure to Fushi. He could literally give closure to Fushi, to the, to the people that have passed and um, even help communicate between them. This is huge. This is actually huge. Bon is, 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 is a pivotal character right now in terms of just that alone. Very sad how the parents took his ability and basically treated them as a uh, having a demon inside of them that's pretty messed up but this is back in the day and uh, people have done far worse to children or to even adults i don't know if you all know anything about the medical practices back before even the 1900s but it was very 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 barbaric in comparison to what we have today so um it's not surprising but it's still unfortunate Oh, dude, I'm, I'm, it still warms my heart thinking like everyone, even though Fushi feels so alone, in fact, he is surrounded or behind him. It's just everyone just following him through every step of the way as everyone that we've met, everyone that we've encountered and have even sacrificed in order to be here today. Oh, that's great, dude. <laughs> Hopefully you all enjoyed watching with me in this episode and join me to see how we can get Fushi's freedom and possibly connection with the people of the past and make deeper connections with the people of today. Oh, damn. We can protect, we can save her. Well, holy man's voyage. I will see y'all in the next episode. Peace. peace.